Hey, Kratos. I didn't expect to see you in Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown. How's Atreus doing? Well, we still have to take you down, so please don't make it your next life's mission to get your revenge on us. Anyway, we here at Direct Gaming got the perfect god to defeat, Orod, the Thunder God. At least that's what I'm calling him. As with all our boss guide videos, we go over how to actually counter each move of said boss, then show a full playthrough. Let's start with some basics. Orid loves to jump around and is a speedy, beefy dude. When you hear him say, come on, betrayer, he will lunge at you to grab you. Simply jump over him and counter with a few hits. If you see his eyes glow red, back off as he will swing his weapon, jump up, then slam the ground, creating a shockwave. Avoid the weapon swing, then jump over the wave so you can attack him. This is why, like any boss, it's best not to button mash a ton of combos. Get about two to three hits in, then back off. If you see Kratos, I mean Ord, jump back like you see here on screen, he'll actually throw his weapon at you and it was spinning. You can not parry this. So either slide under it if you happen to be close enough when he jumps up, or jump over it if you happen to be further away. One of the few attacks you can actually parry are his normal slam attacks, two of which he will do at the same time. Now, like we said before, you can parry these, but these attacks have so much weight behind them that it will actually push you back, making it almost impossible to do any kind of counterattack. So unless you both happen to be at the edge of the ship, I recommend simply running away or dodging, then simply going back and counterattack him after he gets his second hit done. When you get to about a third of his health bar, you will bust out the Blades of Chaos. It's time for things to get really crazy. A new move Ord has is when he throws his weapons at you on the ground, then his eyes will turn red. After that, he will jump up with his weapon spinning around him and finally slam the ground going towards you. First, you need to jump dodge the first attack, then quickly dash to get behind him so the spin move misses you. If you are slow on this, however, try to slide under him when he does the jump move. When you see him spinning his blades in the standing position, he will throw both of his blades at you, then lunge forward. So don't get baited by the simple weapon attack. After he lunges, you can get a couple of counter attacks in. Now, this is the big one right here. When the screen zooms in on him and he jumps to the center of the screen, stop any movement you are doing and get ready to jump. He will do two huge spinning moves that cover the entire floor. The goal here is to dodge both of these so that he is super tired and standing in the middle of the arena so you can actually get like five to six hits on him. If he hits you, however, at any moment though, it will trigger a special move he does where it will either kill you or it'll leave you with literally no help. Here's what you need to do. First, his blades will go to the top corners of the room. Then he will start his first attack. At this moment, you want to double jump above him, place a time clone with L1, dash. Then right as you're falling, activate the time clone and you will avoid the first attack. The moment you touch the ground, he will actually start to begin his second attack. Do the exact same thing as you did before, and you will avoid both attacks completely. Now, here's an actual example of that in real time. Another move to watch out for is when he summons a tornado after saying, Moment of Truth. This tornado will surround him completely, but then it will shoot out two tornadoes at the side. Like many bosses before and after, Get close to him, place a time clone, and run away. Then when the tornado is about to approach you, simply activate it and you'll bypass the attack completely. One move that he loved to spam during my fight particularly, we won't say what happened to you, but regardless, is when he crouches down with his weapons and then spins them all around him. You can't actually do anything here, so if you want a couple of laughs, fire a couple of arrows at him. I found it funny. If you see his eyes glow red like he did in the first part of the fight, you know, where he swings his weapons and then jumps and then slams on the ground, creating a shockwave, well, the same thing applies here. However, the ground slam has a bit of tracking to it, as when he's up in the air, he actually looked towards you and slammed towards you. So get ready and be on your toes. The final move he will do is when he says, fight, and will spin his weapons around him once, then he will swap the weapons to the opposite side and finally drag the weapons along the ground back towards him. So don't slide towards him to avoid the first attack, otherwise you're gonna get hit. Get out of the way completely until it's completely finished. The rest of the fight will basically be like this. When you get him down to his final third health, he will actually turn blue. Pretty much all of his attacks will stay the same, but some attacks have added electricity to them. If you happen to get hit by some of these attacks, it will actually lock you out of your surge attacks. So be careful and keep an eye on the bottom right corner if you get hit by this. Luckily, it does show a timer about how long you are locked out of these moves, so it's not too bad. Keep up the attacks until you finally take him down. Now, here's a full run of the boss fight sped up a tad to show you how to take him down. If you enjoy these guides, then a like on the video would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to check out other guides on things like the finals or other games, then check out the guide list in the top right corner or down in the description below. 
And of course, don't forget to check out our channel for more awesome content. I've been Talon with Direct Gaming. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you have a great day and week, and we can't wait to see you all in the next one. Johnny. Come on, Betrayal! Yeah. <laughs>